सो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू राज मल्होत्रा जाइए सो गाइज वी आर जस्ट अबाउट टू स्टार्ट द सेशन आई हैव टू जस्ट शेयर द लिंक विद द स्टूडेंट्स ओके सो टुडे ऑलरेडी कमेंट्स आर देयर चलिए सो आई हैव जस्ट शेयर द लिंक एंड विक्की चाहत सुविंद रोहित रवि गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन आरती चेतु अनमोल माही हिमांशु गुड मॉर्निंग ओके सो सर कोड आई नॉट अटेंड इन क्लास फॉर लॉन्ग बिकॉज आई वाज एडमिट टू द हॉस्पिटल ओके सो वी होप दैट यू रिकवर वेल Take care of your health. So, in this asking, sir, please confirm Ram Nutraya is expanding in Dehradun. Yes, sir, definitely. This is the right news. Okay. So, anyways, let's start the session. Let's see what exactly is there for us in today's newspaper. So, as you can see on the screen, here we have this statement by Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel. Okay. Now he is talking about strength and faith. He is saying that. faith and strength both are important faith as well as your strength both are important if you are just having faith and not having strength if you are just having faith and not have not having strength then your faith might not produce the required results the game is quite simple we have a confidence that we will be able to clear this exam but if we don't study if we are not improving ourselves if we are not working on our capability enhancement definitely you will not be able to achieve your goal no matter how talented you are so you need to possess that strength strength as well as faith together they can bring magic that's the point here and this is applicable to the international affairs as well as in the internal security now we do say that india is going india is you can say doing good and uh, we have the capability we have one of the you can say we are we have demographic dividend this and that the point is this if that demographic dividend means the youngsters of this country they are not skilled they are not skilled it means that they will be lagging in strength skilled nahi hai to strength nahi hogi you will never be able to achieve your demographic dividend you will never be able to reap your demographic dividend aap kabhi bhi uske benefit nahi le paoge so this is this is really important that we need to have a faith okay fine vishwas hona self confidence is important along with that you need to have the capability as well that's the point here that capability should be enough to match your desires you want to become an ias officer you want to become an ips officer it, this is your this is your desire this is your goal you want to achieve that goal ye aapki desire hai but if that desire is not being equated with the capacity capability to clear this exam i will say that this desire can produce negative results for you individuals who may end up in depression bahut se log aise hote hain lot of toppers no matter how talented you are but regularly you need to work upon your capacity enhancement that's the point here throughout life aap aage badhte rahiye learn karte rahiye new areas this is how you will be evolving as a human being so that's the point here okay so let's move to the you can say component and this is the course that we are running daily current affairs analysis we are conducting this course from last 15 days okay so you can definitely join this course it is you can say quite affordable and the price is 499 for the in house students and people from outside means those who are not enrolled with us in gs courses for them the course is 999 for one month and it's a daily class that we conduct at 10 am okay so you can definitely join us with this 
सो आगे बढ़ते हैं एंड लेट्स फिगर इट आउट वट एग्जैक्टली इज देयर ओके सो इन टूडेज न्यूज पेपर सो हेयर वी हैव दिस न्यूज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू ब्रिज को लैप स्टॉल राइजेज टू वन फोर्टी एंड कंपनी अंडर स्कैनर ओके सो दिस इज वॉट हैज हैपन सो आई एम गोइंग टू रेज सम ऑफ द फंडामेंटल क्वेश्चन हेयर नाउ दिस ब्रिज हैज को लैप्स चलिए ब्रिज को लैप्स हो गया it has been there in the news in today's newspaper itself it has been mentioned that the municipal committee is mentioning that they didn't ask for the permission no permission was taken from the municipal corporation before opening up this bridge this is what has happened here so it means that safety clearance was not given by municipal corporation forget about the safety clearance i will raise other issue regarding this safety clearance to chaliye theek hai ho jayega there is another thing that you have to understand here the other major point is this safety clearance ho gaya what about the governance now we do understand one thing corruption is a major issue in this country and we have seen it multiple times how permission is just granted okay with the help of you can say corruption or corrupt officials that someone can take permission just by paying some amount this is what has happened in the past as well so we need to stop these things here we have to be serious about it till the time you are not addressing this corruption related issue these events are quite likely to happen again and again dobara bhi aise incident honge agar aap is cheezon ko nahi in cheezon ko nahi rokoge so that's the important point here other point is this what about your rules and regulations now those rules and regulations regarding construction activity regarding completion activity regarding safety survey etc etc those rules were archaic they are never updated वो रूल्स बहुत पुराने हैं और कभी भी हम उन रूल्स को अपडेट नहीं करते हैं सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम दैट वी फेस एंड दैट्स व्हाई रेगुलरली इन दिस कंट्री दीज टाइप ऑफ इवेंट्स दे डू अकर अगेन एंड अगेन सो दिस विल बी जस्ट वन ऑफ द इवेंट बाय द टाइम यू विल बी राइटिंग योर मेन्स एग्जाम यू विल कम अक्रॉस मल्टीपल न्यूज लाइक दैट कहीं स्टैम्पेड हो गया कहीं पे ब्रिज गिर गया गिर गया कहीं लाइक देर विल बी एंडलेस मल्टीपल न्यूज रिगार्डिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर यू कैन से आइडिया तो वी हैव टू वर्क अपॉन दीज एरिया विदाउट एड्रेसिंग दीज कंसर्न वी कैन नॉट स्टॉप दीज इवेंट्स दैट्स द पॉइंट हेयर सो वी हैव टू बी सीरियस अबाउट इट ओके नाउ देर इज अनदर न्यूज रिगार्डिंग टू फिंगर टेस्ट ऑन रेप सर्वाइवर ओके नाउ सुप्रीम कोर्ट इज डिक्लेयरिंग दिस दैट दिस टू फिंगर टेस्ट इट इज यू कैन से अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल इट शुड नॉट बी कैरी आउट now the point is this this test two finger test is primarily done to just get to know whether the girl is sexually active or not this is highly regressive practice the girl has already underwent you can say a trauma and after that we are putting her to these type of tests is impacting the dignity of that woman that's the point here and this is what the court is pointing out that this step this action is quite regressive and we need to change it and this is what is happening here so here the court is also telling about this thing that there is no scientific basis behind this test is it going to prove whether rape has been committed or not no randomly we commit this particular test we carry out this test because it is mentioned in the evidence act now you have to update your laws with the changing times that's the point here and the sad part is this even if now supreme court is coming out with this judgment that it is to be declared it is to be stopped okay it is to be declared unconstitutional invalid still on ground you may find that police will carry out these tests again and again because they are not aware about these type of development these type of judgments that the supreme court is coming out with आप अपने ऑफिसर्स की ट्रेनिंग नहीं करवाते हो यू आर नॉट पुटिंग देम टू ट्रेनिंग स्पेसिफिकली इन द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव लॉ दे नीड टू बी ट्रेन अबाउट दीज टाइप ऑफ लॉज वट एवर सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजमेंट्स दैट आर देयर यू हैव टू अपडेट दोज पर्टिकुलर मैनुअल्स 
पुलिस मैनुअल को अपडेट करना पड़ेगा आपको द वे पुलिस इज गोइंग टू फ्रेम चार्जेस दो थिंग्स आर टू बी इंप्रूव हेयर एंड विदाउट दैट सर्टेनली दिस इज अ सैड प्रैक्टिस दैट इज स्टिल फॉलोड इन इंडिया ओके बट विद द हेल्प ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट थिंग्स माइट इंप्रूव हेयर तो चीजें शायद बदलेंगी सो हेयर वी हैव दिस अदर एडिटोरियल विच इज टॉकिंग अबाउट सीक्वेंस ऑफ इंप्लीमेंटेशन ई डब्ल्यू एस कोटा आउटकम ओके सो हेयर दे आर डिबेटिंग वेदर इट वॉज राइट टू ब्रिंग इन द ई डब्ल्यू एस कोटा और नॉट नाउ इट इज सेंग दैट वी हैड दिस रिजर्वेशन रिलेटेड प्रोविजन इन आर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन विद द इंटेंट दैट वी वॉन्ट टू एस्टैब्लिश अ लेवल प्लेइंग फील्ड कि हम एक लेवल प्लेइंग फील्ड लेके आएंगे स्पेसिफिकली फॉर द मार्जिनलाइज सेक्शन ऑफ द सोसाइटी who have been stigmatized who have been targeted who have been discriminated based on gender caste etc 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 so specifically jo log discriminated the based on caste and tribal groups for them we facilitated this reservation which is a which is an affirmative action तो ये रिजर्वेशन आपका एक अफर्मेटिव एक्शन है बेसिकली टू एस्टेब्लिश अ लेवल प्लेइंग फील्ड नाउ दीज कम्युनिटीज दे हैव बीन डिस्क्रिमिनेटेड सिंस सेंचुरीज बहुत सालों से डिस्क्रिमिनेशन हो रहा है एंड ओवर जनरेशन दे वर नॉट कैपेबल इनफ टू कम्पीट विद द फॉरवर्ड कास्ट दैट वॉज द पॉइंट हेयर दैट यू गिव दैम सम एडिशनल बेनिफिट फॉर दैट रीजन रिजर्वेशन वॉज प्रोवाइडेड नाउ वट इज हैपनिंग ओवर द इयर्स the trend is quite visible in the society that multiple communities they are demanding reservation bahut sare communities jo hain wo reservation demand kar rahi hain there is a trend that communities are demanding to be put in the backward class section ki aap jo hain unko backward class define kijiye this is what these communities are demanding now the idea of reservation was to balance out the caste discrimination or one day to remove the caste based discrimination in this country idea to wo tha but here contrary to that communities they start demanding the status of backward class hatane ki bajaye wo demand kar rahi hai ki hame status de do backward caste ka that's the problematic part here and specifically as the demand for reservation was increasing so the present government brought something called 103rd constitution amendment act okay and under that the reservation was provided to ews category now ews is economically weaker section the major point is this this economically weaker section which facilitates reservation based on economic criteria okay yahan pe reservation aa jati hai based on इकोनॉमिक क्राइटेरिया इट स्पेसिफिकली मैंशंस दैट इट विल नॉट कवर कम्युनिटीज लाइक एस सी एस टी ओ बी सी दैट्स द प्रॉब्लमैटिक पार्ट हियर इट मींस दैट यू आर ट्रीटिंग दीज इंडिविजुअल्स नॉट इक्वली now there can be a circumstance that an sc st or obc may may not be making that income inki bhi to income kam ho sakti hai but you are saying that they will not be covered under ews so other than these particular groups rest all will be covered under ews that's the point here and when we talk about reservation in india primarily the reservation is to be categorized into vertical reservation and the horizontal reservation vertical reservation primarily means the stigmatized and marginalized social groups like sc st obc and then you have a horizontal criteria which is cross cutting across multiple categories that is for women person with disability and with domicile so this is a separate criteria so in india we have vertical as well as the horizontal reservation arrangement wo hamare yahan pe hai now there are lot of overlapping fields a person can be a woman she can belong to sc st category okay or she can belong to obc category 
So in that case, she will be entitled to what particular reservation? That's the problematic part in this particular policy. So reservation policy may bohot confusion hai. The policy is not wrong, but the way it is being implemented, that's the wrong part here. So whenever you are writing an answer related to reservation related question, you have to mention it in this in this way that there is no nothing wrong in the policy per se. You have to help out the weaker section of the society. Wo aapki responsibility hai. But the way it is being implemented, that is problematic. It creates a lot of confusion. And you have to address that confusion part. So we have to reform, improve the reservation policy implementation. Wo hai hamara solution. That's the key concern here. Because the way it is being done right now, lot of overlapping things are there. Cheeze kafi overlapping hai. Okay. So it creates lot of confusion as well. Now we cannot allow these type of things. That's the point here. So as I told you, one third, 103rd Constitution Amendment Act, it provided for 10% quota for EWS. Okay. And this is how it was problematic because it created a different type of category. And other point is this, as you are excluding SCST OBCs, it means that you are violating right to equality under article 14 and 18, 14 to 18 of your constitution. Ki complete violation ho hai pe. How can you not include this, this particular group? They can also make less money. Unki bhi jada nahi hai. That's the point here. Okay. So this is what we need to look into. Now, Till now, we had Indra Sani judgment. Now, Indra Sani judgment, it was a nine judge bench. Okay. It specifically mentioned that reservation based on economic criteria, reservation based on economic criteria is unconstitutional, is not constitutional at all. So, Indra Sani judgment ne bakaida ye bola hai, and this judgment came out with. 8 is to 1. 8 judges were in favor of this point that based on economic criteria, we cannot allow this reservation. But that judgment was primarily on the basis that in constitution, there is no provision mentioned. Uno ne judgment is based pe diya tha ki constitution mein economic criteria mentioned nahi hai. That's why it cannot be allowed. But the present government was smart enough. That's why they first carried out 103rd Constitution Amendment Act. So, our government has 103rd Constitution Amendment Act. Kar diya. And they mentioned that now reservation can be given, you can say, based on the economic criteria as well. So, Bakayda Yechi is mentioned. This is how things were different. So, right now, court is also going to inquire about this thing. What will be the way forward to this? Because this debate is open now. Okay, the court is already inquiring into this and I guess by uh, December, the hearing will start. December may hearing jo hai wo start hogi. Start hearing is already going on I guess in multiple cases, but majorly next date will be on December and they are going to debate it. What will be the, you can say future of this particular policy. Okay. So we'll move to the next editorial. Next editorial is pointing towards a new problem. New problem in the sense first time I came to know about this particular issue. Okay. So normally like the debate is around the Citizenship Amendment Act. The Supreme Court is looking into this whether this act was valid or not. Again the hearing will be there in December. Okay. Based on this, this Citizenship Amendment Act, the government is moving forward to provide citizenship to the people, migrants who are coming from countries like Pakistan, Afghanistan to India. Okay. In one of the judgments, Supreme Court has mentioned that this particular Citizenship Amendment Act will also be applicable to Sri Lankan Tamils, okay. Sri Lankan Tamils who are already in India and at present they are labeled as illegal immigrants. So Sri Lankan Tamils jo hai, wo ab India ke andar, unko citizenship mil jayegi. The major debate is around 
Indian origin Tamils. I am not talking about Sri Lankan Tamils. I am talking about Indian origin Tamils. So, this editorial is pointing towards this thing that in India there are nearly 30,000 Indian origin Tamils. Okay. They were Indian origin Tamils. They were taken to you can say Sri Lanka during the British time, okay, maybe you can say 20, 30 years before the independence and then later on they moved back to India. Now, they were not carrying any documentation of Sri Lanka. Na to unke paas Sri Lanka ka koi document hai. Na unke paas India ka koi document hai. So, right now their status is stateless. They do not, they do not belong to any country. They are not citizen of any country. Sri Lanka will not accept it, accept them stating that they are Indians. Indians are not accepting them because they cannot produce any document. Unke paas koi document available nahi hai. So, this is how the problem is. So, here the point is this, yes this citizenship amendment act is talking about providing citizenship to multiple individuals, but this particular category of Indian origin Tamils who are stateless right now, they have been undermined. That is the point here. So, aise bhi log hain, Indian origin Tamils hain aur unke paas bhi ab tak citizenship nahi hai. 30,000 is quite a significant number. Okay. So, major issue between India and Sri Lanka primarily started after the independence only because prior to that they both were British colonies. As they both were British colonies, Britishers used to take you can say Tamil laborers, Tamil laborers to Sri Lanka to make them to labor in the tea plantation. So, tea plantation mein kaam karwane ke liye wo India se, Tamil Nadu se labor leke jate the. Okay. After independence in Sri Lanka, there was a Sinhalese nationalism. Now, Sinhalas are the majority groups in Sri Lanka. So, majorly it was the Sinhalese nationalism that led to the discrimination against the Tamils. Tamils ke against discrimination hua. Tamils were already ethno-linguistic minority in that particular country. They were not given voting rights. Okay. They were put to multiple disadvantages. Things improved as India started putting pressure on Sri Lanka that okay, this is not the way, you cannot treat them in this way. So, we took the responsibility since they were Tamils. Bohat saal pehle kabhi Britishers laborers ko leke gaye honge. Okay. So, they had this Tamil origin and we said that okay, you cannot work like that, you have to address their concerns, provide them certain rights etcetera 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 and we signed multiple you can say pacts. So, it was Sir Mavo Shastri pact when Lal Bahadur Shastri was the you can say prime minister, Sir Mavo Gandhi pact when Indira Gandhi was the prime minister and at that time 6 lakh people okay, they were granted Indian citizenship. That was the thing here because as Sinhalese were not treating them appropriately, they started migrating to India. Wo India mein aane lag gaye and India definitely provided you can say citizenship to them under these particular arrangements. But by this time civil war started in Sri Lanka. Now, as civil war started in Sri Lanka, it was a major trouble for us. Jaise civil war start hua, we stopped providing them the citizenship. So, jo bhi asylum seekers the, we completely did not allow them and government of India came out with this policy that the grant of citizenship. No, 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 it will, it will be okay, it will be okay. Okay, so there was this issue related to power disruption and because of that the internet was not working. So, right now we are back again, okay, so it is working fine. So, this was the debate that now here are some sections of you can say people who are still without citizenship. So, your citizenship amendment act is still not addressing this particular issue in a comprehensive way. So, if we are addressing any question related to citizenship amendment act, this is the other point that we have to make there. So, wo point bhi aapko pe batana padega. That is the point here. Okay. That despite providing you can say citizenship to Hindus from Afghanistan, Pakistan and Bangladesh, 
there are still people who are still left out so you cannot say that in totality it is inclusive to abhi bhi aap ye claim nahi kar sakte ki waqai wo completely inclusive hai that's the point here so here was this explanation the explained component on the amendments to the it rules so this was done few days back on 28th of october the ministry has notified some amendments to the it rules 2021 so in 2021 new it rules were framed by the ministry and specifically it was there to address issue related to the social media that it is important that we have to regulate social media okay so in 2021 some rules were laid down by the government and it was expected that social media providers the social media intermediaries they had to abide by these rules and these rules were primarily framed to make sure that the social media is user friendly because in our life the role of social media is increasing significantly now as their role is increasing significantly okay jab inka role hamari life mein increase ho jata hai it primarily means they can damage you it primarily means they can impact you they can violate your rights as well suppose you are making a tweet and suppose twitter is saying that twitter will not publish this particular you can say tweet कि हम आपका ट्वीट पब्लिश नहीं करेंगे नाउ दैट इज गोइंग टू वायोलेट योर फंडामेंटल राइट ऑफ फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच एक्सप्रेशन ओके सो सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म्स दे डू हैव दिस ट्रिमेंडस पावर इन देयर हैंड बिकॉज दे आर पार्ट ऑफ आर लाइफ नाउ देयर रोल हैज इंक्रीज इन आर लाइफ सो एज देयर रोल हैज इंक्रीज इन आर लाइफ इट वॉज इंपॉर्टेंट दैट गवर्नमेंट शुड रेगुलेट दैम कि सरकार इनको रेगुलेट करे एंड दिस इज दिस डिबेट इज नॉट जस्ट कन्फाइंड टू इंडिया world over this debate is going on that you cannot allow these social media intermediaries to function without any restriction aap aisa bilkul bhi allow nahi kar sakte otherwise they will end up damaging your fundamental right so that was the key point and this is the reason why these rules were framed now there was already one debate associated with that as these rules were quite strict so instead of facilitating the users they may end up creating some troubles regarding the freedom of these media houses these media platforms so doubts majorly kin cheezon ko leke the that with the government rules okay the intervention of government is going to increase ki jab government apne rules lagayegi it means that government will have unbridled power okay to interfere in the working of these particular platforms and they were saying that it will impact the freedom of these platforms that was the point now the thing is this yes this was one of the concern that's why government did come out with the updated updated version and some amendments were made these amendments are primarily primarily there to facilitate the users kuch additional restriction media platforms ke upar nahi hai only the users are being facilitated here so this is what we need to look into ye sari cheeze hame dekhni hai so the point is this it was required that we need to update our laws to ye to working time with the time you have to do it okay you have to update your laws you have to update your the, your rules so these amendments were quite right in this particular you can say dimension update karne ke hisab se dekhenge to bilkul sahi hai there is no harm in that okay now amendments call for institution of grievance appellate committee so it was required that there will be a grievance appellate committee which will be having three members and there will be one member who will be a government officer that was the provision here and this was primarily done if the user is not satisfied with the grievance redressal by the social media platform so idly the rule says that social media intermediaries they will have to appoint an officer okay specifically for grievance redressal 
ग्रीवेंस रिड्रेसल के लिए एक ऑफिसर अपॉइंट करना पड़ेगा हु विल गिव प्रायोरिटी टू द कंप्लेंट्स एंड द पॉइंट इज दिस ही हैज टू रिजोल्व द कंप्लेंट विद इन फिफ्टीन डेज ही हैज टू रिस्पॉन्ड टू द कंप्लेंट विद इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स तो रिस्पॉन्ड इतने दिन में करना पड़ेगा एंड रेजोल्यूशन इतने दिन में करना पड़ेगा एंड फर्दर इफ यूजर इज स्टिल नॉट सेटिस्फाइड विद द आउटकम ऑफ कंप्लेंट रिड्रेसल बाय द सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म दे कैन डेफिनेटली अप्रोच टू दिस पर्टिकुलर कमेटी एंड दिस इज प्राइमरीली डन टू मेक श्योर दैट द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द नेटिजन आर प्रोटेक्टेड वट एवर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल राइट दैट इंडिविजुअल आर हैविंग इन दिस कंट्री दो आर वेल प्रोटेक्टेड दैट्स द पॉइंट हि so it was from that angle it was a quite remarkable step so as i told you that there were other you can say provisions now these social media intermediaries they are required to make reasonable effort to prevent prohibited content being hosted if someone is filing that this content is prohibited they are obliged to remove the information विद इन अ पर्टिकुलर टाइम उनको वो इंफॉर्मेशन रिमूव करनी पड़ेगी विद इन सेवेंटी टू आवर्स दैट्स द पॉइंट हेयर ओके सो दे डू हैव टू टेक ऑल रीजनेबल मेजर्स टू मेक श्योर दैट देर इज ट्रांसपेरेंसी एंड प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ प्रिवेसी ऑफ द यूजर सिस्टम में ट्रांसपेरेंसी लेके आनी है हाउ सोशल मीडिया इंटरमीडियरीज आर ऑपरेटिंग एंड यूजर्स प्रिवेसी नीड टू बी प्रोटेक्टेड यूजर्स की जो राइट टू प्रिवेसी है दैट ऑल्सो नीड टू बी रिस्पेक्टेड बाय सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म्स एज वेल सो दिस इज हाउ इट वाज अ मेजर स्टेप हियर नाउ अदर थिंग वाज दैट यस देयर विल बी अपॉइंटमेंट ऑफ एन ऑफिसर फॉर ग्रीवेंस एड्रेसल इफ द यूजर इज स्टिल नॉट सेटिस्फाइड विद दैट इन दैट केस दे कैन डेफिनेटली नीड सम प्लेटफॉर्म बिकॉज राइट नाउ इफ ऑफिसर इज नॉट प्रोवाइडिंग ग्रीवेंस रिड्रेसल टू यू There is no way आप कहीं नहीं जा सकते So to deal with this particular you can say issue, they had made this arrangement that there will be grievance appellate committee, and there will be a government officer sitting over there. So your interests will be protected by that government official. That's the point here. This is the system that the government is establishing. So it's a it's a really good step here. उस हिसाब से देखेंगे तो काफी अच्छा स्टेप है सो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दिस एम्बिग्विटी ऑफ रिजर्वेशन फॉर द पुअर ओके सो राइट नाउ ऑलरेडी इट इज बीइंग डिस्कस्ड वेदर इट इज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल द डिबेट इज ऑन सो वी डिड कैरीड आउट यू कैन से हंड्रेड एंड थर्ड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अमेंडमेंट एक्ट अंडर दैट प्रोविजन सम आर्टिकल्स वर चेंज सम अमेंडमेंट वर मेड इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन आर्टिकल्स एंड बेसिक आइडिया वॉज टू फैसिलिटेट टेन परसेंट रिजर्वेशन फॉर you can say individuals who are falling under the category of ews but it is not extended to sc st and obc category it is specifically for the you can say general category sirf general category ke liye hai ye now that was a problematic part here ye ek major problematic part tha okay so it it showed few things now i told you about this indra sani judgment that in 1992 it came out with this that like based on economic criteria you cannot give reservation because at that time as well nasima rao government did gave reservation 10% reservation based on economic criteria and it was declared unconstitutional by the court by stating that your constitution doesn't mention the economic criteria that's why the present government brought the constitution amendment act and they mentioned the economic criteria there this is what now the court is going to look into so that debate is still going on okay so there was this news related to supreme court tell center not to file new sedition cases okay so sedition is still very important topic that we that you should be covering for your exam now the point is this sedition primarily you can say is taken up by section 124a of indian penal act code आईपीसी के अकॉर्डिंग चलता है ओके इंडियन पीनल कोड सो बेस्ड ऑन दैट देर इज अ सेक्शन वन टू फोर ए एंड दिस इज द डिबेट दैट इज गोइंग ऑन प्राइमरीली द एक्ट डिफाइन्स दैट इफ यू आर हैविंग डिसअफेक्शन टूवर्ड्स द गवर्नमेंट ओके 
if you are having disaffection towards the government and your effort, your writings, your words, your expression is developing into some public disorder. कि आपने कुछ आर्टिकल लिख लिया और उससे दंगे फैल गए देन इट विल बी अ सेडिशियस एक्ट बिकॉज हेयर यू आर पर्पट्रेटिंग द वायलेंस आप खुद वो वायलेंस को आगे बढ़ा रहे हो यू आर डूइंग समथिंग विच इज डैमेजिंग द सोवरैनिटी इंटीग्रिटी एंड यूनिटी ऑफ द कंट्री दैट्स द पॉइंट हेयर सो एट पर एज पर द प्रेजेंट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल स्कीम सेडिशन दैट इज सेक्शन वन टू फोर ए इट इज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल because courts have declared it to be constitutional means valid court ne ab tak ye bola hai ki ye valid hai this is the present status okay you cannot say that it is unconstitutional ye valid hai but iska misuse hota hai we know that with the political intervention police will register cases under the sedition act okay because grant of bail is difficult under this particular section bail milna thoda difficult ho jata hai isliye police jo hai केसेस इसके अंदर रजिस्टर करती है एंड स्पेसिफिकली इट इज बीइंग यूज्ड टू कर्व द डिसेंट ओके अगर डिसेंट को कर्व करने के लिए सेडिशन का यूज होता है वी नो दैट सम ऑफ द देयर वाज वन कार्टून आर्टिस्ट ओके तो एक कार्टून आर्टिस्ट ने कार्टून बनाया था और सेडिशन का चार्ज लगा दिया था उनके ऊपर दैट वाज द थिंग हियर तो पुलिस ज्यादातर ऐसे करती है स्पेसिफिकली टू टारगेट एट ऑन द बिहेस्ट ऑफ पॉलिटिकल क्लास ओनली टू बेसिकली टारगेट इंडिविजुअल्स ओके जो गवर्नमेंट को क्रिटिसाइज करते हैं सो दिस इज द इशू राइट नाउ द कोर्ट इज डिबेटिंग इट दैट दैट डोंट फाइल यू कैन से न्यू सेडिशन केसेस दे आर ऑलरेडी री एग्जामिनिंग द प्रोविजन इट इज ऑलरेडी बींग डिस्कस बाय द कोर्ट वेदर इट इज राइट और रॉन्ग ओके सो वट एवर विल बी द आउटकम डेफिनेटली वी हैव टू लुक अप टू दिस पर्टिकुलर केस एज वेल तो इस केस को भी आपको जरूर नजर रखनी है ठीक है ना कन्हैया कुमार वाला हुआ था बिल्कुल सही ओके दैट वॉज द पॉइंट so this is what was there and uh, let me look into the other news that is left so we covered that we covered this okay editorials we covered editorial bhi humne cover kar liya tha and uh, chaliye this editorial was done this is all political it rules we did it so reservation issue we did it okay so this news we discussed and had sardar patel been the first prime minister many problems would not have arisen so this is the statement no one knows what things would have been but definitely when you talk about sardar patel he was realist okay he was realist in the sense that he knew it that china is a threat he knew it that you have to develop strength okay with just moral argument you cannot achieve your national goals सिर्फ मॉरल आर्ग्यूमेंट से कि हम अच्छे हैं हम अच्छे कह के आप अपने गोल्स को अचीव नहीं कर सकते यू नीड टू डेवलप कैपेबिलिटी एज वेल एज एबिलिटी टू मेक श्योर दैट यू रियलाइज दोज पर्टिकुलर गोल्स दैट्स द पॉइंट हियर ओके सो ये चीज समझनी है यहाँ पे सो दैट्स वाई इट इज बींग सेट दैट इफ ही वुड है प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स थिंग्स वुड है डिफरेंट होता नहीं होता वो तो बाद की बात है बट दे आर स्टिल सेंग दैट सो विल मूव टू द नेक्स्ट आगे चलते हैं नाउ म्यूनिसिपैलिटी परमिट नॉट सॉट That was the major issue. ये सिर्फ इस केस में नहीं हुआ बहुत से केसेस में ऐसा होता है सो दे डिडेंट इवन आस्क फॉर द परमिट एंड दे ओपन दैट पर्टिकुलर ब्रिज सो म्यूनिसिपैलिटी परमिट नॉट गिवन इट प्राइमरीली मीन्स दैट देर वॉज नॉट सेफ्टी चेक दैट वॉज डन बिफोर ओपनिंग दैट ब्रिज कोई सेफ्टी चेक नहीं हुआ वहां पे ओके देर माइट है ब्रिज इट सेल्फ ब्रिज के ऊपर क्रैक्स हो सकते थे सो ऑल दिस वॉज द इशू दैट वॉज द पॉइंट This shows the sad state of demo. You can say governance in the country. कि इस तरीके से काम चल रहा है यहाँ पे. Now decentralize the MMG Nargas for better implementation. This is what government study says. Okay. तो अभी इसको क्या decentralize करना है? So right now the point is this. There is some restriction over the type of projects that the MMG Nargas can take. Prime focus is this. You can take up only those projects. Okay. Which are labor intensive, जो labor intensive है जहां पर labor को ज्यादा काम मिलना है and machines should be use of machines should be minimal. Machines का use minimal करना है आपको Now this restriction is imposed. It means that you are not giving them the free hand. Let them decide the way they want to implement. 
the outcome is this if you are putting up these type of restrictions that mechanized work cannot be carried out the quality of work will definitely come under doubt the infrastructure that we are creating under this mg narega we doubt that that quality is not up to the mark that's the point here so if you seriously want to deal with this particular issue you have to facilitate some liberty to them by decentralizing things let them take decision on the ground already the panchayat is deciding what type of projects are to be covered abhi bhi panchayat hi decide kar rahi hai ki pure village mein kaun se kaam karwane hain mg narega ke under so let them give some more free hand that's the point here okay so wo cheez hai yahan pe and uh, it's a it's a really good thing so social media can wield their algorithm power to red flag the fake news yes definitely this is what election commission is saying so they can red flag the fake news it's just an algo algorithm that they have to place and the point is this with to deal with issue like fake news you need some support from social media intermediaries as well unse bhi aapko help ki zarurat hai that's the point and it's their responsibility as well because if someone is spreading the fake news it means that the social media platform is being misused ki bhi platform ka misuse ho raha hai and it is going to dent the reputation of these media houses media platforms so you have to deal with this as well ye bhi aapko majorly address karna hai so that was the point okay other than that there was nothing much still the war is going on uh, lula da silva he came back as a president in brazil okay so bolsonaro it was quite expected that bolsonaro will lose the election bilkul expected tha because he performed quite poorly while handling the corona crisis so here there is another news related to us planes are being deployed specifically as tension with china is increasing okay so specifically australia ke sath bhi china ki tension increase ho gayi hai and us is going to deploy these particular uh, you can say aircrafts in that particular region that's the point here other than that here we have this news india's fiscal deficit touches 6.2 lakh crore tax receipts rise okay so it is going to be really very difficult how are we going to maintain the fiscal deficit within the limit इसको लिमिट में लाना थोड़ा डिफिकल्ट हो जाएगा ऑलरेडी द पब्लिक एक्सपेंडिचर इज गोइंग क्वाइट हाई ओके काफी पब्लिक एक्सपेंडिचर हो रहा है यहाँ पे एंड देर इज अनदर एक्सपेंडिचर दैट इज टू बी एडेड बिकॉज मोदी जी हैज अनाउंस्ड दे आर गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड टेन लैख जॉब्स तो ये जो दस लाख नौकरियां आने वाली है ओके टेन लैख जॉब्स इट इज गोइंग टू फर्दर एड यू कैन से फिजिकल बर्डन यहां से भी सरदर्दी बढ़ी है ठीक है ना so it is not going to be easy this year is not going to be easy there are lot of things that are still to come and things are going to be difficult okay so that's the major point that they are raising and definitely if you are breaching the fiscal deficit target it is not a right sign because investors will not take it in a positive way agar waqai aap apne fiscal deficit target ko breach karte ho so investors will not like it investors never want public spending to be carry out in a major way okay unko ye lagta hai ki let the private sector invest let the private sector do the work without any government interference because sarkar jab interfere karti hai it will distort the prices pure price mechanism ko government ka intervention distort karta hai government will end up giving subsidies again it will distort the price mechanisms so this is what the private sector and the investors they don't like that's why always it is expected that this spending by the government sector needs to be within the limits you cannot cross that limit and this is what the major point is so here things might be difficult this time but these are the extraordinary times maybe the government had to go for some extra spending that's the point here so this is what we have in this particular session so that's it for the day then thank you very much